this is a Gateway SA1 laptop, and I'm going to cover, cover a couple of different things. Mainly I'm going to be doing a DC jack on this, but if you have to change out your CD-ROM drive, you take out that screw. Nope, take out that screw instead, and you just pull it out, and that's how you change your CD-ROM drive out. Underneath this cover is your hard drive. Underneath that cover will be your memory, your RAM. So if you wanted to change out your memory, change it out underneath here the two memory sticks and I'll saw some of your processors right there it should be a good time to clean out your fan now we're going to move on and Here's a couple of things you can do to change your keyboard. Let's see the letter K there. Take that screw out. And then you flip your... Lift that up. And normally, this is up here. You can take this off, your bar, this is your power bar and all the functions in here. You got screws underneath there, you take that off. You got this screw here, you got this screw here. Then you lift it up and there would be this tab here that you would pull out the brown piece here and your ribbon cable comes out. And that's how you change the keyboard on your gateway computer. Now let's move on to changing your DC jack which is on your back side I would imagine. Yep, it's back here. And I guess this screw here left to take off. I want to make sure you unplug all the little accessories that's for your mouse pad. I'm going to unplug this. Got that screw and this screw here as well. I don't think you have to take this one off for your monitor, but we'll find out. Let's see what happens. I'm going to note the orientation of your wireless card. The gray wire goes on number two, white's on three, black's on one. The reason I say this is you're going to have to take apart all the way up here, including taking your monitor off, just to get this plastic piece off altogether. Don't forget to take any of the hidden screws that you might find. Plus, after you take your CD-ROM drive out, you take these screws out here, and you'll be able to lift up the top piece. Screws that's got the arrow marked next to it, you want to take them out. And before you can fully take out the computer, the motherboard from the computer, you have to take out the fan because it's slashed onto this connector, the brace there, and then you should be able to take in. Pull, unless there's another screw somewhere. Pull down on this and kind of pull pressure on your motherboard that way so your audio jacks will be able to come out. And then you'll lift it up and then you should be able to take and slide it out. Your VGA connector here will be in your way 
if you don't do that that way. And here's your DC jack. And desolder it from this side. And check for other components on this side being anything that might be needed of soldering. And putting it back together should be a piece of cake if you get it all apart this far. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.